let people want what they want if they don't get it oh well um it's it's not about letting people um want or not want what they want it's about it's about being real with people and you know informing them that if they want something um just like in real life there's certain things that they're going to have to do to obtain what it is that they want if if someone wants to become a, a doctor if someone wants to become a physician they're going to have to go to medical school they're going to have to graduate medical school they're going to have to go to residency they're going to have to successfully get through residency you're not just going to be able to forego all of that and become a become a physician. Um, if someone wants to become a lawyer, they're going to have to go to law school. They're going to have to pass law school. They're going to have to pass the bar exam. Like there's steps that need to be taken um, in order to um, obtain certain things in life. So, you know, we need what, what really needs to happen is we, we need to be real with people. You're not helping people by not being real with them. You're not helping people by letting them live in their delusion and, and being unrealistic and not and, and, and allowing them to think that they can be unjustified in wanting certain things or just believing certain things. That's not helping anybody. Like you need to you need to work for what you want in this life. Like God, you don't just you don't just wake up and things just appear to you. That's not how life works. So, <laughs> that's that on that. What are you saying? And and not only that, it's just with 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 what you're hearing from women right now and in, in today's, it's just it's not ethical or moral for a lot of times when you're basing everything on finance and and right now in relationships, it's like everybody has this finesse game going, and I'm I'm looking as a conscientious objective because I'm married. Yeah, you know I'm saying so I don't really have a dog in the fight of, amongst single people and what's going on. I'm just observing what's going on. And then I give social commentary on it. And what I see a lot of time is like everybody's trying to run this finesse game. Who can get the upper hand on who or who can lead the relationship and and it's just fool it's a lot of foolishness going on. And you got this prosperity gospel mentality of everybody out here now where you can manifest this amazing life and this and that. And for real, when you're young, delusion is it's nothing that's impossible to you when you're young. Because a lot of people are under programming from pop culture. They believe anything's possible and there's no problem with having that mindset because you shoot for the stars and if you don't hit the stars, you land on the moon. I understand all that. But a lot of times we get caught up in all this gravitas and all this larger than life shit. And we miss what's the real important things in life that we should be striving to obtain. This is my thing, though, OG. It's, it's, it, is, it is all right. It is all willed for, for people to, um, you know, I encourage people to, like, you know, aspire for, you know, um, quote unquote shoot for the stars. Exactly. But, but understand that, you know, for you to obtain and achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve, that there's going to be like some hard labor that comes behind that. Mm -hmm. Right? Like like I was I was a full ride scholarship uh basketball player for three years of uh, in college. Um I was an all American one of those years. A first team all American. Like, you know, I was considered one of the best players in the country, right? So you don't just – that doesn't happen by accident, right? Like the mm -hmm. people that made that team, they probably, like, worked hard. They probably they, – they were talented, but they probably worked harder than a lot of other people to be able to, you know, make that a reality. So my whole thing is, like, you can shoot. You can want whatever it is that you want, but understand that you're going, there's going to have to be some work behind that. Exactly. Ta um, um, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You know, you'd have heard that saying before. If you're an athlete, I know you'd have heard it before. Right. <laughs>